suck my stretchy and uneven ball sack. Money was the only reason I got up the other day and rubbed down 20 doors with a piece of sandpaper. 20 doors in a row. No break, no nothing. As soon as I finished rubbing one fucker down, I was on to the next one. Rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. My hands were burning, but I just kept rubbing. There was skin and bone flying everywhere. It's all good, Danny, it's all good. Just think of the money. That's what I kept telling myself. How about I think about my time here on Earth? It's ticking away. My existence is evaporating. At this rate, by the time I'm 40, I would have rubbed down six million doors. This is not what life should be about, you know? Like, I understand that doors sometimes need a good rubbing. I completely understand that. But why don't we stick to rubbing down our own doors, you know? If I have a door that needs a rub, I'll fucking rub it. You have a door that needs a rub, you fucking rub it. That way, we can all have nicely rubbed down doors and I get to keep my will to fucking live. Work doesn't allow me to have an exciting or adventurous existence, no. It just barely keeps me alive. Alive so I can get up in the morning, hammer more shit there, fucking rub a bit of door down there, paint a fiddly banisters, fucking hassly as fuck. Look at this drip, look at it. That is the story of my life. Money doesn't get you anything anymore. I remember when I quite liked this guy. Now I think he's a useless cunt. What are you gonna get me, mate? A pint of beer and a game of pool? Ooh, thank you very much, you stingy, stingy fuck. As time goes by, things just keep getting more and more expensive. On the fucking sly and all. No one sends me a warning email. Just next time I go and buy one of these Freddo fuckers, it costs me 30p more. The amount of time and hassle that work causes me isn't worth what I'm getting from it anymore, you know? Basically, when it comes down to it, I can't afford life. Life is out of my price range. Surely life is a human right for people that, um, I don't know, are fucking alive. People will say to me, it's your fault. You fucked it, didn't you? You should have studied, become a lawyer, a brain surgeon, and maybe they're right. Maybe I did fuck it, but life is overwhelming when you're growing up, man. It's a bit deep, it's a bit heavy. I made some shit decisions, I admit it. But does this now mean I deserve a life of pain, worry, and rubbing down people's doors? Surely it should work out that the shit of the job is, the more money you get. Why? Because it's a shit job. Nobody wants to do it. Like, my mates, they wouldn't offer me 20 pounds to eat a Mars bar, but they would offer me 20 pounds to eat an otter's turd. Why? Because it's very, very unpleasant. Just like a shitty job. Footballers have an amazing job. They live in their dream. They get chanted their name as they score salmon headers from the edge of the box in the last minute of injury time. And they get paid thousands and thousands a week to do it. Toilet cleaners clean shit that has fallen out of somebody's bunghole and nobody chants their name and they only get £6.70 or something an hour to do it. How is this fair? We should live in a world where whatever job somebody does, it is universally recognised that it is an important clog in the machine that we call the system and they should be able to live a comfortable life if they choose to do it. I'm not saying they should be rich. I'm just saying that they shouldn't have to worry every single day about money. Nobody needs £120,000 a week. That should be illegal. It's sickening. All it does is create dangerous divides in the mindsets of the people, you know? When people want something they can't afford, people get desperate. They go out and they mug little old grannies. Just watch the crime rates drop. If everybody, regardless of occupation, could afford decent food, clothes, technology, a decent place to live. Next week, I'm going to turn up to work wearing one of these with a ball and chain strapped to my ankle. My boss will turn to me and say, that's not the proper attire, is it? I'll say, yes, it is. I'm a slave. Now fucking show me to your door so I can rub it down. Fuck it. Here's a whip. Give me a beating as well. I deserve it. But yeah, um, please excuse me because I can hear an unrubbed door calling my name. 